my sister was kind enough to give me a couple new strawberry plants. So we're going to plant those in our little corner garden. Sunday, September 10th, my grandfather passed away. We knew that he was not doing well health-wise, but um, when you lose someone you love, it's always difficult. Since then, we've cleaned out Grandpa's apartment. We have packed up um, all of his stuff and Brought it to my mom's house, just some boxes of things that were his, some pictures for us to go through. Um, we did some of that yesterday. We went through some of his pictures so we can have some stuff for the funeral. And uh, we've also picked out the flowers. We worked on his um, remembrance uh, cards, pamphlets, whatever they're called. Uh, we've been keeping busy. I have picked out a bunch of pictures that we're going to use on his picture boards at the memorial home. Um, been doing school work with the kids and doing gardening and trying to keep busy because uh, sometimes keeping busy is the best medicine for the soul I guess you could say. It helps you from thinking too much about sad things. It's actually a really hot week. We're out working in the garden today, which is fun. We did that after doing our schoolwork. Um, and after that, I'm going to get a bunch of pictures printed. We might go to my mom's house, I'm not sure. Um, and all the while this has been going on, um, we, hey buddy, my friend who lives in Florida was dealing with a hurricane going on down there. So I was concerned about her because her house is right in the path of where the hurricane goes. The eye of the hurricane went right over her area. And she ended up losing power for a while, which was scary because I didn't know if she was well or not. But thankfully she is. She's safe. Um, and that's always good news. Hey, buddy. I've fallen behind in blogging and vlogging a little bit, so you'll have to bear with me while I catch up um, over the next few weeks or, you know, month, who knows. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff coming up, so I honestly don't know how much I am going to get done in the near future. I'm just going to work on it whenever I have spare time because it's kind of therapy for me. It helps me escape. Um, when I can go and edit pictures or I edit a video pet. or Mom, you want to see my pet? I'll I'll see your pet in a second, honey. So that helps me a lot. Over the years I've come up with a bunch of different coping mechanisms for stress. Um, some people get hit with stress for the first time in their lives and I think they get paralyzed with grief and sadness. Um, they don't know how to cope because they haven't managed that before. And I um, have had my share of grief and sadness and hard times. So I've kind of developed a pattern of taking care of myself mentally and managing to resume normal life and activities while doing so. So if you are having a hard time with grief or loss, um, or a hard time, just something that you're going through. I'm so sorry. I really am. Um, it's not easy to go through this, whether you've gone through it a bunch of times or it's your first time. It's always hard. Uh, the difference between 
having gone through it a bunch of times and having gone through it the first time is simply that you have learned how to cope. So people are going to say a lot of things to you like it will get easier and that seems really callous but the truth is it does get easier and it's not because the loss or the, the heartache is less, it's because you have gotten stronger in your ability to cope. So I hope that you are able to find something that helps you cope. Um, one of the things that I think really helps if you're an artistic person, creating art. Uh, take your camera, go out there, photograph something beautiful. If you're a painter, paint. If you like to sketch, sketch. If you play music, play music. Uh, I know it sounds dumb to just bring up those things because you'd think if you have a hobby, um, or some sort of creative skill that you would just automatically turn to that but when you're lost in grief or sadness uh, you kind of forget those things you forget how to do anything You've, your world has narrowed down to breathing or maybe just focusing on that sadness and it can be hard you might think I really don't want to create art I don't want to do this I just want to sit here and wallow <laughs> or maybe sleep um, or maybe I'm so busy because I've got all this planning going on of stuff that I have to take care of. I'm saying that you need to make the time to create art. You need to force yourself to do these things even if you don't want to because creating art it just makes you feel relaxed. It helps you escape that harsh reality for a moment. It helps you create something beautiful in a dark time. And looking on the bright side in those dark days is really difficult, but it's worth it in the long run. Another thing you can do is to go outside and the sunshine and the fresh air, whether you take a walk or work in your garden or just sit out in the sun or if it's cloudy, you know, well, whatever. At least you won't get a sunburn. <laughs> I would like to say that if you are having a seriously hard time coping um, and you're having a serious depression or suicidal thoughts, that there is always somebody out there who wants to help um, and wants to talk to you to help you get through this time. Uh, there's a lot of different hotlines and numbers. If you don't like talking on the phone, um, you can even text now, which I think is just awesome. And I'll include some of those phone numbers down below so that way you can use those if you need them. Um, but seriously, just reach out to someone, anyone. And I know everybody says that and that when you're so depressed it's hard to even think you know what <laughs> I'm gonna call someone because when you're so depressed you you really don't go there but you know maybe that'll be the thing sticking in your mind that I'll just say maybe I'll just hold on a little while even if I don't call I'm just gonna hold on a little while longer um, so try and remember some of those tips and please always always ask for help if you're to the point where you just can't handle it anymore. I hope you all have a wonderful week.